For every football club point of view, it's been a lot of hard work, a lot of coordination, particularly from our venue manager, Dan Musa, our match day manager, Zach Thornton, rallying up the troops, volunteers, staff, board members, you name it, to as a combination of bringing these two games together over the weekend. You know, it's fantastic to see that we've got the top two sides in the AFLW competition. At half time, as you can see, is only a few points of difference between North Melbourne and the Crows. And, and certainly from a footy club point of view, is exactly the vision that we hoped for, that we wanted to build this facility um, in 2019 and beyond. From a footy club, we've been able to host two separate events here, uh, both on the Saturday, well for private viewing for the public, as well as food and bev, and, and a pre-game event here for the AFLW match, which this, uh, Nicole Livingston, the head of football for AFLW, was the main speaker, as well as Shani Lake, ex-netballer, and now Collingwood football player. It certainly was the idea that this would be very much the, the football hub for the city of Wyndham and certainly obviously for the Werribee Football Club. Ultimately, hopefully in time, it'll mean that we'll have be the, the major tenant here or the sole tenant. Um, but we're working with the cricket club and the council on what the, the future holds for the Werribee Cricket Club here and certainly we'll, we'll do whatever we can to assist in that regard. Last year we saw that obviously Werribee Footy Club come back to play at this venue, the $12 million facility that's um, now known as Avalon Airport Oval at Churnside Park, with the included the local league finals, the TSC Cup Girls Grand Final, North Melbourne hosted seven VFL games here, and obviously Werribee Footy Club come back and play their home games here as well. So hopefully we'll see much more of these type of standard games, JLT, AFLW, more TSC Cup fixtures, all those sorts of things being held here, as well as other events such as the outdoor cinema that's going to be held here in a couple of weeks, concerts, maybe Western United playing some matches here. All those sorts of things are certainly part of what we're, we've got in our minds and hopefully we can convince others to partake and be involved within. Yeah.